So like, let's walk through it. So like, what are the common, like, you know, what are the common questions that you get the misconceptions from people that probably drive you nuts? The first one is that why, why do I need to hire an attorney? The second one is I didn't know that I could hire an attorney. And the third one was I didn't know I did. I didn't know what I didn't know. Right. Right. And that's generally, that's generally how it comes up when we start talking about real estate. Um, and, and I mean, it's no dig on real estate agents. Like they serve a really valuable purpose in this entire process because I'm not taking my clients out to go look at homes. I'm not an agent. I'm not a salesperson, right? My job is on the backside to make sure that the contract is filled out properly. Not only that it's filled out properly, that the right contract is used for the right situation and that my client understands what it means to give up your rights to sign an arbitration provision. Like I could, you know, arbitration provisions are what they are. Right. Right. In the California residential purchase agreement, which is what most of the, most of the state uses, except in San Francisco, there's a, there's an arbitration provision, but it's optional. And most people don't know that it's optional and they don't know what they're giving up when they sign it. That's a big one. That's a huge one. 